than Donald Trump or any other politician. He cannot get you out of your grave. If you listen carefully, I'll give you the best news in the world. Because I've got the news that can get us successfully out of our grave into eternity. Now look, this is a robot that came out about two years ago in the Daily Mail. I don't know what newspaper you get. So what newspaper do you read? The Daily Mail. The Daily Mail. So it came out in your newspaper about two years ago and it said, this is Rex, the robot, so that's what they called him. And then they said to him, or told us how he was made. And its ears were made in Sydney, Australia. Its hands and its arms were made in Glasgow, Scotland. Its trachea, London. Spleen, Connecticut. Blood was made in Sheffield. So if you live near Sheffield, you get some blood. And its kidney, California. Rex the rock. Now, if you're an atheist, I am now going to ask you to answer this question. If you're an atheist. Which of these two robots are the most advanced? Is it Rex? Or this one? That's no robot. Well, robot in inverted commas. You're right, sir. The gentleman is absolutely right. The child or Rex the robot? Which one has got the ability to do the most? Let me ask you this question. Did them scientists who were once one of these make the robot or did the robot make the scientists? Which one? It's obvious, isn't it? If you're an atheist, you're going to be stumped, folks. I'm going to get you in a corner and I'm going to say, answer that. And I'm going to listen really carefully to what you tell me. All right? All I'm saying, if you just joined us, then is my name. Nice to see you. Now, look, in the Daily Mail, they made Rex. It was an article in the paper. And it was made in all these different countries. And then they got all these bits together. And that's him there. And they called him Rex. Okay? And I'm asking you the question. A baby, is it more advanced than Rex? Yeah. Or is Rex more advanced than the baby? It's obvious, isn't it? Now, here's my question. If you don't believe there's a God, then you've got to believe that the most advanced thing, a baby, came from nothing, but Rex had these simple minds to make it. So we need intelligence to make the simple machine, therefore you need a massive intelligence to make the complicated one. Let me ask you this, can you think of one machine in your house that can make itself? I happen to be in the AA, and that's because my car can't mend itself. Can you think of your computer? If you've got a computer that can mend itself, please give me its name, because I'll buy it. Have you got one? Now, if you don't believe there's a God, you believe this, and I think it's nonsense. Watch it. You believe, if there's no God, that Rex must have had somebody to put it together. Agreed or disagreed? Well, there they are. These scientists in these universities put him together. So they did. But we also agree that this is a million times or even more advanced than that. Listen, this one can mend itself. Its blood congeals. It can mend itself. That can't. Ladies and gentlemen, so why would anybody believe there's no maker? Because there's a reason why people don't want to have a maker. I'll tell you what it is. If I'm a robber, I don't buy a house next to a policeman. That's the reason. Get it? If I steal, I definitely don't buy a house next to a chief superintendent or a judge. Do you know why? Because I'm going to get caught out. I'm a... Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what Jesus said? He said, you will not come to me that you may have life. He didn't say, I don't exist, I'm telling you a pack of lies. He said, you can have life. And it's totally illogical to think we can have minds to make a robot and this can just make itself. Now, let me ask you a question, especially if you don't believe there's a God. When you leave planet Earth, will you leave guilty or innocent? As you live your life today, in the eyes of a holy God, is there anything in there, in your heart, that says, he knows that I've blown it, and I know I've blown it. 
Because if I look at my life, folks, I know I've blown it. <coughs> you see, if you're a robber, you don't want a courthouse. And you certainly don't want a judge, and you certainly don't want a prison. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't it true? Can you think of anything Jesus ever did that was wrong? But he says, I love you. I love my enemies. And I'll lay down my life on the cross for you so you may be forgiven. Are you forgiven? Would you like to be? Think of it. You might be 40 years of age, and he's taken you 40 years to accumulate what you've done wrong. Think about this. One wrong in 2017, one wrong every month. If you're 10, you're on 120 wrongs. If it's just one every month, one. If you're 10. And yet there's a God who sees everything. And yet the blood of Jesus, God's son, can wash you white in the snow. If you were on the Titanic, ladies and gentlemen, and I said, you're going down with the ship, and there's a space in this lifeboat, and I said, jump in it, mate. You'd be an absolute bird to stay on that ship. A bird. Do you know why? Because you'd be damning your own soul when there's a chance to escape. Jesus said, on the cross, you can escape. Isn't that good? The risen Jesus Christ can forgive people. I'm going to stop there. I give away a little book, especially if you don't believe at all. I've written, got one written called, Before You Say I Don't Believe. So you can do your spirit work to prove that it's not true. But ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to know, you can have life in all of its fullness. It's on offer to you today. May God bless you. Thank you for stopping. Have a lovely afternoon. Come and have a chat if you wish. I won't fall out with you. You'll find me, well, hopefully quite friendly. May God bless you. Have a good day. Does anybody...